Uh, it's gonna quit. happen. Oh. Wait, just your knuckles at- Oh no! <laughs> I have here a list of superheroes. You tell me if they are, in fact, actual superheroes, okay. or did I make them up? Well, there was, there was for as much untruth uh, <laughs> as there was in that, there was a lot of truth. Yes! Look, it all foams up, right? And uh, I lose all of that carbonation. Yeah, but the, the fantasy is, hey, there's people who are actually doing something. That's, that's what superhero movies and television shows are selling. Joining me tonight is one of show business' most prolific and successful writers. He is the co-creator and showrunner of the mega-hit Arrow, as well as the upcoming, untitled, DC Comics spin-off show, also set to air on The CW in the fall of 2015. For the big screen, his produced films include Green Lantern and Percy Jackson. And comic book fans know him as the author on such titles as The Amazing Spider-Man, The Flash, and Aquaman. And while he well deserves and remains humbled by his exalted place as a fanboy's earthbound deity, to me, he's just my dear friend who must routinely forgive me for having seen nearly none of his work. <laughs> Why? I'm just not that a fan of science fiction, superheroes, or comic books. Also, I hated the 2009 movie, District 9, which continues <laughs> to beguile him six years later. This is Mark Guggenheim. <laughs> Well, there was, a, there was, for as much untruth uh, <laughs> as there was in that, there was a lot of truth. Yes. That was impressive. Thank you. Yeah, that I was want, cool. So, okay, let's very quickly, you, here's what's wrong with uh, the movie District 9. Okay. Okay. What's wrong with it? Because a lot of people hated it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There you, hasn't been a District 10. That's true. But you loved it, I think. I, I did love it, along okay. with everyone else who's not you. So, here's what's wrong. What a surprise. Ha, ha. How clever it is that an alien force shows up in South Africa and then, yoo-hoo, guess what? They mistreat them just like they treated the blacks previously. What, that is not surprising. That is not interesting. That is nothing. What would have been way more interesting is if, what if an alien force had shown up in and San Francisco? And tried to blow us all to hell. No, in San Francisco. And suddenly, the people in the Castro district or in Hate ashbury your hippies, or what if a Harvey Milk kind of guy suddenly now wanted to repress uh, an alien force? That is a oh much more God. interesting you premise. You never saw Alien Milk. No. Don't even know it. No. Have you ever cooked pizza in your life? No. Son of a bitch. This is going to be hard. Actually, that's not true. I did. Right, I, I did a pizzeria. Uh, pizzeria oh, you took a class at Moza. Yes. All right. All right. I want you to see that this, no, this is, is very nearly impressive. finished. Yeah, this is really great. Right? Yeah. All right. So, look, you go now. Okay. What am I doing? You switch places. Okay. And uh, I'm going to throw so it up in the air. You can, but not yet. I mean, you can, but you'll just ruin it. I know, probably. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll here's what it. I want you to do. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start from the middle and press to the outside. Oh, okay, I can do that. Okay. I can do that. I'm gonna throw it up in the air or something. Like yes, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, well, or do you, you wanna just do it? Well, I do wanna just, it'll get, you'll get better footage. If, if what? I do, if I just do it. But, I know, but, but do you probably wanna try not better, to do it good? Here, but probably not better pizza. Okay, so here, look, I'll show you what to do, okay. and then you can do it. So you want it on your- Yes, the knuckles. On your knuckles, you don't want it no. with your fingers, right? No. Ooh, look so at that. that's what you're going look for, that. right? A lot so, of can't do that. No, almost none. Almost none. That but looks perfect, actually. Really? I want you to try. Hold on, because it'll be fun. But try not to drop it, because. Well, uh, I got. I got to be honest with you. Go it, ahead. It's gonna Quick. happen. Oh, Quick, get your knuckles in. Oh no! <laughs> Quick, undo it. Quick. I did. All right, good. It's undone. Very good. It's all good. Oh, this just looks goodness. great, though. Yes, now we've got it at the right sort of thickness. This looks wonderful. All uh, right, look, I know one of the things that you like is uh, comic books. Mm -hmm. And I thought I prepared a little quiz. Oh. For before, we, for before we get down to the business of talking about writing again. Mm -hmm. I have prepared a quiz. So, 
I have here a list of superheroes. You okay. tell me if they are in fact actual superheroes from actual comic books. Okay. Or did I make them up? Okay. All right? Okay, I'm ready. You ready? Mm -hmm. uh, there was a character uh, in uh, 1997 from uh, the Section 8 comic books. Mm -hmm. Who, is this true or false? There was a character who uh, was a mild-mannered guy who wore a welding mask, and then he welded dead dogs to the face of evildoers. That character was known as the Dog Welder. I'm gonna go with false. That is absolutely uh, incorrect. Wow. That, I told you, in 1997, part of the Section 8 from D from the DC universe. I remember Section 8, but I, yes. I thought the Dog Welder was... Uh, totally real, 1990s, made it, no, absolutely true. Hmm. How about this? Also from DC Comics, true or false? Uh, this character had so, a, this, seems, this seems like an exercise in biting the hand that feeds me. No, uh, no, no, I'm not, no, no. Uh, okay, so was there in fact a character due to his inferiority complex about the size of his junk who created a suit with a weapon that juts out from his uh, lower portion of his body that was a boxing glove on a spring, a giant drill, a pair of scissors, and a cat. This character was known as the Magnificent Merkin. True or false, did that character exist? I'm gonna go with false. That time you're absolutely correct. <laughs> However, the only thing false about it is his name. There was an actual uh, superhero named Codpiece, hmm. who, and that is the description that I have taken from Wikipedia. I was just gonna say, I, I was just thinking to myself, God bless Wikipedia. Yeah. Okay, when did you get, um, how about this? When did you get an affection for science fiction and fantasy? Oh, God. Like, since I was a kid. Since I mean, you were a kid. Since I was a kid. And so I want you to explain to me, can you explain to me what it is that people, what is it that in, uh, makes a kid so excited? That's a good question. Right? Um, can you articulate what it is that you liked about it. I think it was that it wasn't the real world. It, it clearly was not the real world. I mean, bear in mind, there's like science fiction and there's fantasy, but I think if you like fantasy, you tend to like science fiction. Correct. Like science fiction. Right. And it's it's not the real world. It's 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 not the world outside your window. And you're saying you that know? going someplace else, there's something yes. exciting about that. There's something interesting about that. There's something like, oh, that's that's unusual and that's... Um, a different world. That looks really good. So, wow, that looks very impressive. I have Thank to say. you. Um, uh, there, there's something about science fiction because it's someplace else. It allows you to tell uh, stories that are allegorical, which when I was a kid I didn't appreciate, um, but I did recognize how interesting that was. Um, that you could actually say some stuff uh, without offending people. Uh, because you, you, you're really crazy. Oh God, I, I feel so micromanaged. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to put some pepperonis on it, okay. and then you'll uh, s splash some sauce on it. No, no, no. I'm going to move the pepperonis around <laughs> um, just to spite you. That's fine. No, okay, so you that. liked that you could tell uh, stories that weren't necessarily so much on the nose. Is well, that what you're I, I, or did I you... wasn't trying to tell stories then. I was. Okay. I, I think I appreciated the fact that uh, you didn't have to tell stories. See, I moved everything around. That's fine. Um, you didn't have to tell stories that were on the nose. But that's what I'm saying. So, oh. okay, so that's the thing that you liked about it. Uh, well, that and the escape, the uh, the fact that there was, you know, it wasn't the world outside your window. Uh, so what? What's wrong with me? This tastes like John Hamm. What is it? How come I don't like it? Oh, uh, that's because uh, you suck. Congress is basically now has rendered themselves obsolete and incapable. And I think the fantasy is not good versus evil. But I that, think the fantasy is, hey, there's people who are actually doing something. That's, that's what superhero movies and television shows are selling.